Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys! This is Vaughn, and welcome back once again to the Pixel League server. Yay! <laughs> ah, today I've been talking to Cassatis. He is the guy with the shiny Slowbro, and he has agreed that indeed he still has it, and he is willing to trade it for the Solar Beam. So, we're going to do that. First of all, though, I want to do, I keep forgetting to do... A wonder trade so let's quickly do that we got ourselves a magikarp nothing fancy there let's do wonder trade one yes wonder trade one confirm boom Ooh! wow an arkin that's freaking awesome that is a fossil type wow wow what a How cool is that? That's really cool. I have not found any fossils yet. I've done some caving off camera and stuff, and I have not found any fossils yet. That's freaking amazing. Wow, he's one of my favorite types, too. These are really good, I think, to EV train. This is the first, in Season 1, the very first Pokemon, I think, that I EV trained was an Arcan. Archaeops. So he's Mox Nature. I don't know if that's any good. Uh, his current moves are Wing Attack, Wing... Quick Attack, Wing Attack, Ancient Power, and Agility. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, if you guys want me to do something with him, let me know. Let's put him on his own page. Oh, he can he can stay on the page with the EVs, I guess. Wow! Yeah, I definitely have to remember to do more, more Wonder Trades. Because, man, everything I've gotten so far from these Wonder Trades has been not bad. Not bad indeed. So, last episode, we finished EV training our uh, Spiel and turned into a wall rain. Um... Now, somebody was complaining that I wasn't using my XP shares. I do have the egg. I've got this egg on him. And so I'll put the XP share on Pijoto. Uh, ideally, eventually, I'll have more more eggs on everybody. I, now, I need to go see if Cassandra... Cassandra is not online right now. Uh, we have to go and see if he can trade today. Uh, or he, he may not be able to trade today. If not, not a big deal. We're going to... We're going to work on the, the sand castle, I think, a little bit. And I, I came back here to get the solar beam. Oh! Why do I have two returns? I wanted to put a return on Pijoto. Because you guys keep saying that I need to replace tackle with return. So, uh, I don't know what his best move set would be. Currently, his moves are tackle, wing attack, roost, and agility. Uh, I could probably replace agility. I like a tackle, but it's pretty weak, so I've never used return, but we're going to try it. People have told me to replace uh, tackle with return. There it is. Hopefully that was a good move. I don't know what return does. Let's see. Moves. This attack move grows more powerful the more the user likes its trainer. Ah, okay. And our happiness together is... How do I see that? How do I see what your happiness is? Stats, right? Oh yeah, you're totally happy. So this should be an amazing move with you. So that's cool. Let's uh, let's head back over to Spawn and I'll see if I can get Cassandra. I don't know if he can join us on a call or not, but we should get him available at some point. Hey, it's Cassandra! Hey, what's up, Vaughn? How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Welcome to my Dragon Gym. This is a really cool looking place. Thank you, thank you. It is. It is getting there. We're not quite done yet, but we are getting there. I really like it. It looks really good, like situated with the kind of green bamboo forest around it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I chose it. That's why I chose it. I like this bamboo area. I really like the overlook on the hill. I can see all of Spawn, so <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up here, and the challenger's gonna stand down there, and we're gonna fight. Ah. When you've got a team, come on by. Well, have you noticed something being built recently? I did. I did. You're not too far away, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. That looks pretty sweet from here. Yeah, 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 it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. I was wondering who built it. Yeah, it's me. Like, who did that? Yeah. <laughs> that's me. That's me. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I just felt like I, I should have something at spawn, and ah, I've been. I think so. I think a lot of people are actually coming back, which is awesome. Yeah, I've heard some plans in the chat, so I'm excited about that. Yep. Anyway, yep. we've got we've got a deal to do, huh? We got a deal to do. I've got you a shiny slow bro. And I got you a TM. Thank you. All right, let's get in here. I will make sure you're getting your Slowbro. Here he is. <laughs> I'm giving you a Magikarp. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> a super, super awesome Magikarp. Yeah. And trade. trade. 
Did it work? Did it work? Yeah, it looks like it. Sweet. All right. You give me a one hit. He has one hit point left. <laughs> awesome. All right. And here you is beat your him up. You oh, beat him up. Oh, 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 oh. Yo, no, you're sucking me up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I was actually looking forward to this. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm working on a shiny, a shiny gym so far. Nice. Got, you probably saw earlier. I got. Ooh, shiny nice. dot. I'm, yeah. I've got my shiny seal. Well, he's a wall right now. Nice. And I've got this guy who's pretty fancy. Ooh, he's <laughs> huge too. He's yeah, giant. He's, he's enormous. Yeah. And I've actually got a Wobbuffet, which is broken, so I'm not gonna actually use. Oh. Because they're kind of dumb. They're, the the move set is broken. Then I've also got this guy, which I haven't EV trained yet, so I don't have him on my team yet. But he will be. Oh, nice. And the guy I gave you is actually, he's, he's, he's yeah. pretty perfect for your team. Yeah, he's got he a great get, nature. Yeah, he does. He's bold. Yeah, you're in good shape. I accidentally started healing my dudes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Well, Heal him up. Get him ready. Hopefully you're going to have a team soon. You know what? I've got two teams going on now. I've got a, a dragon team, and I've got like a lower level team. So whenever you want to fight, you let me know. Well, I'm very excited. Like, uh, I've been slacking a little bit and uh, not focusing too much on the team sets yet. And so I feel like I finally have started to get maybe not my final team, but at least a team. That, that's how I'm kind of looking at it, too, and I think a lot of the guys are going out there, and they're trying to get their final team right, right. now, and I kind of I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a team, and I'm going to fight guys, and you know what? If my team sucks, well, I'll replace them. <laughs> right, but, you know, like, it's so difficult to get, like, the perfect team right off the bat. You might exactly. as well work with what you've got, so that's what yeah. I'm doing, and I am kind of, like, sitting in this desert here because I wanted to get some, like, I have a lot of, uh, I have an ice area, and I've got a lot of, like, water and ice shinies right now, so I thought oh, yeah. if I was... If I camped out in the desert, maybe I'd get lucky and find like a desert uh, shiny, a yeah. desert shiny or something, or yep. a Groudon. Have you seen any Groudons? I have not. I've I have only the only uh, the only. I, I think we're gonna be pretty rare having any of the uh, legendaries out here. I've got yeah. I've got a Moltres. Right. But, and uh, I've got an Articuno, and I've seen Rayquaza spawn. Oh, but, have you? Yeah, oh. I haven't managed to catch one yet, though. It's really difficult because they're like way up high flying. Yeah, I've been searching for him. I've been, I've been. Whenever I come on here and I've got you know nothing to do, I just mm -hmm. kind of come on here and Go I've been it. looking at nothing. So yeah, well, that's part of the joy of I guess the hunt. It you know? is. The it kid. is. <laughs> All right. Well, man, thank you very much for the shiny. Hopefully, I'll and, be able to come back and wreck you with it at some point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll feel bad if you do, but it'll be it'll be like a karma, I guess. Yeah. And thank you very much for the solar beam. Yeah, I'm and maybe you will wreck that. me with the solar beam. So it's maybe a fair maybe. trade. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to level up this magic carp, and then you'll be sad. Yeah, that's very possible, too. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, well, I'll, I'll catch you, you later. But I have finished putting down the pillars, uh, and I decided to put in a kind of middle stone just to break it up a little bit. I think that looks nice. Usually when I make pillars, I make that stone a different color, like a, a red clay block or an orange clay block or something. But I think that looks nice. Uh, and then one thing I was thinking about doing is... Uh, I've put the blocks of the pillars over the carpet, but if I break the block of carpet directly underneath it, I think that that would force the pattern to wrap around the corner. Oh, I'm going to grab that. Oh, dang it. Now I'm down here. Um, hmm. Um, I don't have any good... Oh, sand. We'll use sand the pillar out. So I think if I put... A carpet block here. Yeah, you see how it kind of goes around the pillar? Do you like that more? That makes a little bit more sense, doesn't it? In terms of like a, a block of actual carpeting, I think that that's more like how it would be. Now I'm going to have to like... Hey! Drop it. Drop it like it's hot, like it's hot, like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Okay. So... I think I'm going to do this. It's going to be a little tedious because of that, but I think mm, that looks a little bit weird. But I think I think I do like that more. I feel like that looks a little bit more realistic with the carpet kind of going around the edges. And it's just a neat fact. Uh, it's a neat thing that you can do. Oh, you know what? If I break this one. Oh, that's smart. Okay. Uh, I, th I feel like that's just a neat thing. That It's a neat property of the carpet block. 
that it, you can kind of wrap around like that. So I think I'm going to do that, and of course I'm going to have to make shears, or find the shears. Actually, I think the shears are in my bag. So I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'll bring you guys back. All of the edges of the carpet have now been modified. I kind of like it, I kind of don't like it. What do you guys think? What, what are your feelings on it? Like, in some places it feels like... Like, here it feels excluded almost. Like, it's standing on the edge. Whereas, like, here it feels like it's definitely standing within the boundary of the carpet. And it's... It is. I mean, underneath it is is the right... It's in the right spot, but it almost feels like it should be, like, here. But then I think it would look weird. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, more or less, I like it. Let's take a look at it. Well, let's have a snack. And then let's look at it from the, the distance. I feel like that'll help us get a better perspective. Of the, like when we were at Cassanis's, I was like, oh, that's what the build looks like. That's kind of cool. Plus, this is a good way to kind of get an overview of the area. Keep an eye out for shinies and things. It would be really cool to find like a shiny Doug Trio. But those things, those look just... A, a shiny Doug Trio looks almost exactly like a regular Doug Trio. I think the only difference is that they have, like, blue noses or something, and so that's that's going to be really difficult to spot. Trap pinches are green. Okay, so that's what this place looks like. It looks really cool from up here, where you can see the red, but from down here, it's a bit plain. So there's a couple things that we could do. Originally, I was planning on just leaving it open like that, but if we put in a red wall behind it, Maybe out of clay. Um, we'd have to go to that mesa biome. But we could put a red wall behind it. And that might look really cool. Uh, you know, we could do it. Let's do it with red wool real quick. Just so that I can kind of give you guys an idea of what I have in mind. So, you it would be one block back like this. And the red, the red clay is a slightly different color than this red wool. And then... This would definitely make it not, it would not be as clear, I guess. Like, man, you know how last episode I told you my brain isn't working anymore? Well, it's still the same problem. But I think, it, you know, it, you wouldn't be able to see through the building uh, the way that you can right now. But I still think it would be kind of cool. Let's see, so that would not be the one. And it might require me to redo the floor again. Because you, you're, you're going to completely lose the stripes that I've just designed. But okay, so that'll be like one side. We're out of clay, so or out of wool. Let's have another snack. And then let's fly out again so you guys can see kind of an idea of what I've got in mind. It would not be clay. I mean, it would not be wool. I would definitely switch it over to clay or possibly some other brick, brick that I'm unfamiliar with right now. Well, it's really hard to get an idea of, isn't it? Hmm. Let's see how it looks down here. Yeah, from down here it looks a little bit better. Um, still not great though. We could also do arches. I kind of like it. Maybe red is not the right color. Uh, it it kind of it kind of looks similar to Sadis's place, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Kind of having a similar theme, although his is definitely more. Uh, Japanese style, and mine is more uh, Egyptian, I guess, maybe? It's kind of like a mix of Egyptian and Roman. So we could put a different color behind it. I don't like that red. Or if I use that red, then I don't like the gray base where I've got the bricks going in. But I do want to kind of keep that white and gray color. So maybe it could be gray. Or maybe... You know, like a, a tan color might look good. Or gold, even. Ooh, yellow clay, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, some ideas percolating in my head. Let me take down this carpet, or this wool. No. 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 What am I trying to do? There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do that. Uh, earlier today... What is the... What? creature makes that noise. I'm trying to wait for it to make a noise again. Flygon. Oh, it's a fly god. Fly. So, earlier today I did a test live stream. Well, it was actually yesterday by the time you see this. It's today of me recording it. But I did, I did a test live stream and that actually turned out really well. I got a new webcam and it was, 
super easy to plug it in and use it. Apparently some people had a little bit of a delay with it, so I may have to tweak it a little bit. But for the most part, it worked really easily. That makes me excited, so you guys are going to be able to see my lovely face. I don't know how often I will use the webcam, but I am excited that I'm going to be able to pretty easily record vlogs and stuff with it. And, and of course, use it for the live stream. It's going to probably be included maybe in building games? I don't know. Like, are, are there... Do you guys watch the building games? And are there any other games that you, you would like to see face cam in? I know some people really like face cam and some people really don't. So obviously you cannot please everyone. There's a blast toys. I'm just always looking. I really want to find a desert shiny. And I feel like now that I am actively looking for shinies, I'm never going to find one again. Don't you think that that's the case? Oh, that's a boss. Man, I was just about to freak out. But I know that the Doug Trios do not look like that, the Shinies. They should! They'd be much easier to spot if they were blue. But it's just their noses, I think. Level 68. Oh, and by the way, look, we got Return. That's a sweet move now, baby! Good job, Jot. Okay, but use your wing attack and kill him. Dude, I forgot we just got an Arkin. That's amazing. Ooh, and an oh, ally switch is not that great. Okay, well, that's that's still good. Uh, I don't think that this episode is going to be too long. You guys know that I'm I'm definitely scatterbrained right now due to the glasses issue. A lot of you guys kind of sympathize with that, have glasses or know kind of the situation I'm in. I don't have a lazy eye. Uh, it's not quite that bad. Uh, and a lazy eye is kind of like when one eye looks forward and the other eye looks like down. But it's kind of related to that where where it's... You wouldn't notice it if you were looking at me, like, my my eyes would still look like they're facing in the same direction. Because my eye does move. It, 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 it wants to look in the opposite direction, but it doesn't. And that's what causes the strain, is the fact that it's, it's pulling constantly. It's kind of like, like if you always had your foot flexed or something. Like, it's fine at first, and then after six hours of it, it really starts hurting. So, uh, the glasses will fix that. And, uh, but yeah, you would not notice it. But, yeah, I'm glad you guys seem to understand the situation. And a lot of you told me to take take a couple days off and not stress about it. And I appreciate that a lot. Uh, for right now, I'm going to keep doing uh, Pixelmon. I have currently taken a break from my every other series. Uh, for those of you who follow uh, Scribble Nuts or Lords of Minecraft or any of the other stuff that I do, right now I'm just focusing on Pixelmon because that's about the length of time that I can last, and it's pretty much my most watched show, so it makes the most sense to focus. If, if I can only, you know, work for three hours or six hours or whatever, then I'm going to focus on this. So I think we're going to have a short episode today. I am also preparing for the live stream, and I'm pretty excited about that, like I have said. Uh, I think we're going to open with a building game with a couple of my buddies, and then I will probably, I mean... Depending on what they want to do. I've got some ideas set up for, like, uh, games like Replica and Bingo, building games, stuff like that. I've got those set up for potential uh, invites and things. And um, otherwise, like, if they want to stick around and play Replica or something, like, I will totally set up that game. Uh, if they all want to take off after after the building game, then I will happily just jump. I'll jump on here, and I'll probably be on Play Minecraft. I might jump on uh, Life in the Woods, and who knows where else we might go. There's all sorts of places we could go. Uh, just whatever, you know, to keep ourselves interested and keep you guys interested. Oh, that's a drowsy. A little squirtle. I'm just, I'm just flying around looking for guys, you know, that might be bosses or shinies. And I really think that now that I'm searching for shinies, I'm not going to see one. Or, or, worst, worst of all, I will see one. What is, oh, that's a boss. I was like, what is that red block of wool over there? It's a, the, the Diglett boss. Um, I think that now that I'm searching for one, like, worst, uh, one will appear and you guys will see it and I won't see it. And it'll despawn before I notice it or somebody will say, oh, there was a shiny at whatever, whatever time. And I didn't notice it. And I'll go back and I'll see it in the background or something and be super sad. Uh, but, you know, that's also part of the game. 
All right, and I've already gotten that shit, that invisible pokey pokey loot right there, so don't don't remind me about that. Oh, and one more thing: if you are a current Patreon of mine, uh, I will be sending out an email. I think tonight or tomorrow. Uh, asking for your Minecraft usernames. I'm not sure I'm going to whitelist everybody, but I don't... Uh, people who are Patreons already should be kind of grandfathered in. So, like, you you can donate again, but you won't have to. Uh, I'll consider your Patreon, like, a, a donation, a pre-donation, in case I end up doing some sort of uh, donation reward thing. And I'm also going to make it so that people who don't donate can still win prizes or still get whitelisted or stuff. So don't don't feel like you have to donate in order to get uh, whatever rewards. That's just, it's mostly supposed to be a purely, uh, I have extra money and you've made me laugh and I like you, Vaughn, so here's some support. It's not meant to be like, I'm not going to eat lunch today because I'm giving you money. Like, please do not do that. <laughs> please only support me if you can spare the money. Uh, no stress. It's not supposed to be... I'm not begging. It's 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 meant to be, you know, just out of the kindness of your heart and, and your own generosity. Anyway, I think we're going to kill this boss, and then we're going to end the episode. Okay, just saw that, that, that... I don't know, there's so many guys just suddenly spawned. Let's kill this Geo dude. I like that I can just walk around for 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Uh, I can just walk around for 10 seconds and... Uh, oh, right, she's not going to probably be a good one against him. Oh. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, I should not have Slowbro on my bar because I want to EV train him. So yeah, that's one more thing. What should I EV train our new Slowbro in? And um, yeah, that's that's a good thing. Snoring rest. I need to figure out how to actually use those moves. I know he's a tank, but oh, wow, just a leaf stone, huh? So not even that is an exciting thing. But yeah, that's going to be it. And we got ourselves an Arkin, so what should I EV train him in as well? Uh, I did show off his his personality or whatever. Na nature? <laughs> How do I words? Yes, his nature. No, I don't want to put those away. Let's put those away. Uh, so I showed off his nature. Let me show you those again. Let's, uh, oh yeah, I can't. Dang it. All right, never mind. We, we, we're not going to show off his nature because he is unconscious now. So go back in the video and check it out. Arkin and Slowbro tell me what I should train them in. Uh, and I think we're going to end the episode. So I'm, I'm heading over here to heal up. But uh, once I'm in here, we can we can end the episode. Whew, okay, that's, that's good stuff, man. I'm sorry that I'm so spacey right now. <laughs> okay, but thank you guys as always for watching. My name is Vaughn, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!